The way to come close to Allah Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal is first and foremost by fulfilling the commandments of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Along with fulfilling these commandments of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, one must leave off all those things that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and naturally, in extension, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has prohibited us from. So, by fulfilling the commandments and by leaving off the prohibition, one can start his journey to getting close to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us of this in a beautiful hadith when he said, مَا نَهَيْتُكُمْ عَنْهُ فَاجْتَنِبُوا وَمَا أَمَرْتُكُمْ بِهِ فَأْتُوا مِنْهُ مَسْتَطَحْتُمْ Whatever I have prohibited you from, then leave that prohibition altogether. And whatever I have commanded you of, then fulfill that commandment as best you can. So by leaving the prohibitions, by fulfilling the commandments, one can start that journey of getting close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, one of the mistakes that a lot of people fall into, of course, with good intentions, inshallah, we don't judge people's intentions. But sometimes those intentions need to be coupled together with knowledge as well so that the person can be uplifted from where they are to an even greater station. One of the mistakes that people sometimes make is they end up doing the deeds and the actions which are voluntary before they have fulfilled their obligations. I'll give you an example. Ramadan time comes, people go to the masjid. In the masjid they pray and as they're praying, they go for taraweeh because the taraweeh hype in Ramadan is there. And that's true. There's great reward within taraweeh. The Prophet ﷺ said, Man qama Ramadan, iman and wahtisaban, ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi. Whoever stands up the night prayer in Ramadan and he has belief in, the, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the reward that Allah will grant and he's hoping for that reward as well, Allah will forgive the sins that he's committed previously. So this is a beautiful reward for standing in the night prayer. So a person must race for this. But some people, as they're racing for this, they might forget the obligations. Going for taraweeh at night, but forgetting that you also have to wake up for fajr. Going for taraweeh at night, but forgetting that you also have to pray isha as well. Sometimes this also happens. This is not the right way to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The correct way and the best way is to start by the obligations. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us of this in a hadith Qudsi that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said, وَمَا تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ عَبْدِي بِشَيْءٍ أَحَبُّ إِلَيَّ مِمَّ افْتَرَضْتُ عَلَيْهِ That a slave of mine can never come closer to me through anything than that which I have made obligatory upon him. So the best way and the most beloved way to Allah for you to get closer to him is by getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the obligations. Once you're done with the obligations, Allah said that, وَمَا يَزَالُ عَبْدِي يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِرِ حَتَّى أُحِبَّهِ And then my slave continues to get closer and closer and closer to me through the voluntary actions until I fall in love with him or until I begin to love him as well. حَتَّى أُحِبَّهِ فَإِذَا أَحْبَبْتُهُ كُنْتُ سَمْعَهُ الَّذِي يَسْمَعُ بِهِ When I love him, I become like his ears that he hears with, and I become like the sight that he sees with, and I become like the hand with which he strikes, and the feet with which he walks as well. If he asks me at this junction, and at this point, I will grant him. And if he seeks refuge in him, I will give him refuge as well. What does this mean? The scholars of Islam, they said, that by saying, I become his hearing with which he hears, I become the sight with which he sees, the hand with which he strikes, the feet with which he walks. Allah is telling us that Allah grants tawfiq, Allah grants the ability to do righteousness with all of these faculties to the person who is close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through firstly fulfilling his obligations, leaving off all of the muharramat, then doing all those things that happen to be voluntary actions in that order. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the ability to leave off the haram, fulfill the wajib, fulfill the obligations, and to also get closer to Allah through voluntary deeds which bring us closer to Allah and grant us the love of Allah.